Um, over here, you've got uh, an option of having multiple desktops. I'll just show you that in practice because that's quite a useful feature and certainly it's something new to uh, uh, Linux users. Um, you, you don't have this sort of out of the box in Microsoft Windows, for example. Uh, multiple desktops allows you to basically get more out of your screen real estate. So you can have a window up here with your files in it, for example, and that's useful to you, great, or your, maybe your email or something like that. So I'll just launch the email again. Okay, so there's my email. <clears throat> and on this screen here, just click on that. It's all gone. It's right back here. Just click on that. I've got a new desktop, so I could launch maybe Firefox in this and browse away on the web. But then you quickly want access to your email, but you don't want the mess of your, uh, of your web browser. You just click on the desktop one. You're right back there, so you can get into your your email so it's nice to have two desktops or four you can add and add and add you can have as many desktops as you like um, so you can choose preferences there and choose how many desktops you like that was just a right click there by the way so that's how to add more desktops okay there's also the trash can there so anything you put in the trash so for example if I right click on this and go move to deleted items it's gone into the trash you can see it down there I can just click on that and you can see that that's gone in there and you can empty it for good just by clicking on that icon and confirming. So that's it. That's basically the Ubuntu desktop. Nice and easy. Now we're going to show you how to install software. All right. So to install software in Ubuntu, it's really quite easy. The first thing I should say about software in Ubuntu is that we don't actually have to go on to websites, for example, in a way that you do it in Windows or Mac. So, so in a Windows world, if you click on a web browser, if you click on your web browser, go to Google and type in a piece of software's name, you can usually download it and find an .exe file for it or an installer. And a similar case in in Mac. In the Linux world, it's kind of different. We uh, don't need to actually go to that level of um, annoyance most time. We don't actually have to go out on the web to find the software we're looking for. I'll give you an example by this. Um, on the bottom of the applications menu you'll see add and remove. So click on that first things first and you'll, uh, you'll see the app add and remove applications uh, box come up. Now as you can see down the left hand side again it's similar categories to those that you see in the applications menu. Uh, so let's click on games. Let's have a look at games and you can see that there's much more software available just a click of a button away. Now this means that we don't have to go out to the website to find the software we're looking for and in fact if I already know the name of the software that I want I can just click on the search tool up the top there and I can see there's a puzzle game called Atomics quite interested in that press the tick button beside it and it's, uh, then the apply changes box is ready to be clicked on at the bottom of the application I'll click on that tells me that there's some change going on it says I'm going to add Atomics are you happy with this press apply Press apply, and because it's a change to the system, you need to add your put your password in. So I'll press pre, put my password in, press OK. Software is downloaded, then it installs it, and that's really all there is to do when you're installing software in Ubuntu. It's that simple. And you might think, well, that kind of restricts me to the amount of software that I've got available. Well, the Ubuntu universe, which is a massive big repository full of supplemented applications, is thousands and thousands and thousands of software titles large there's plenty of software out there for you so yep if you really are looking for something really strange and you don't and it, it isn't there in the standard ubuntu repositories yep you can still go out and look for it on the net but the easiest way to install software in ubuntu by far is just by clicking on the add remove or by using the more advanced synaptic package manager which will come to in just one moment but just to confirm that the application has installed, you can see the Atomics program. Yep, it's in there, and I can play the game now. So that's how easy it is to play uh, to install software in Ubuntu. So I said a moment ago about the Synaptic Package Manager. Well, what's that? Let's have a look. It's in the System menu. It's under Administration, and Synaptic Package Manager is there. I click on that, and this is basically a much more advanced uh, way of installing software. Um, it's got all the software from all the repositories rather than just a subset of them which is available through the add remove programs list. So <clears throat> let's have a look here. Uh, you can have a, you can cho choose uh, 
installation software installation from categories so for example if it's games you're after you can go through a very extensive list just in this particular category of games and amusement you can see all of the titles without ticks or uh, green boxes against them none of them have been installed okay so there's plenty of games there for me to have a look at so this one here tux type Again, it's a tutor, it's a program for telling me how, teaching me how to type. So if I wanted to install that, all I need to do is click on the icon, mark for installation, and then it'll tell me I need to install some extra software as well to get this to work. But yep, yeah, sure, press type mark. It shows you all the software it's going to install. Press the apply button, and just confirm that. It'll download the files from the net for you. Once it's finished downloading all the files, then installs the software much the same way that you just saw in the add remove programs dialog so it's that simple to install software through um, the synaptic package manager as well now of course if you know what the software is called or if you've got a very vague, vague idea of what it's all about you can use the quick search feature up at the top right of the application as well okay now it's installed Okay, so that's all there is to it. Software installation in Ubuntu. Um, you, one thing I should also note is that you, you have software sources, which are basically lists of repositories where you can get extra software. So for example, the software which you get in Synaptic and the Remove Programs Installer is all available through the Ubuntu repositories, the sources from Ubuntu. There are further uh, uh, sources out there by third parties and so forth. So if you find another third party source that you might uh, want to use, you can simply take a note of it and add it via this, this uh, tool here. There's other settings you can make there as well. So that's really it. That's how to install um, standard software within the Ubuntu system. Um, on a more advanced topic, you can download .deb packages, that's files ending with .deb at the end. <clears throat> they are Debian package files, and they can be installed again um, just by a double click of the file on the desktop um, as well. Um, and you can install targz. All of that information on how to install .deb packages and tarball packages is on the Linux Newbie Guide website, linuxnewbieguide.org. So if you want further information, please search for it on our site. It's all there for you. Okay, so that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned. There should be more tutorials coming up soon.